embodying the Declaration of Independence. The vote will be by colonies, each colony voting as a unit. A majority will decide. The club will call the roll. Twelve votes will be cast. New York has decided to abstain, thus seven votes will carry the issue. New Hampshire, Mr. Josiah Bartlett. New Hampshire votes unanimously for independence. Massachusetts, Mr. John Adams. The Patriots of Massachusetts vote unanimously for independence. Rhode Island, Mr. William Ellery. Independence. Connecticut, Mr. Roger Sherman. Independence, unanimous. New Jersey, the Reverend Dr. Witherspoon. Mr. President, in my judgment, the country is not only ripe for independence, but is in danger of becoming rotten for want of it. New Jersey votes unanimously for independence. Pennsylvania, Mr. Benjamin Franklin. The majority of the delegation from Pennsylvania votes for separation from England, so help us go. Delaware, Mr. Caesar Rodney. Delaware votes unanimously for independence. The Declaration of Independence is passed. Delaware has cast the deciding vote. There is no reaction from the delegates, and the voting continues. It will very probably be unanimous by colonies. Many of the individual delegates are shaking their heads. However, no matter what may be said against the Declaration, this document is impressive. It reads well. It begins, when in the course of human events, change is necessary, and then continues, and I quote, we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. July 4th, 1776, deriving their John Dickinson loses his fight to block the Declaration of Independence, and the 13 colonies go forward to establish the United States of America.